Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 31st series of uh, principles of uh, drug design. In this, uh, we are going to see about uh, pharmacophore based drug design. Pharmacophore based drug design is a computational approach used in uh, pharmaceutical drug discovery that focuses on identifying essential structural features or functional groups within a molecule uh, that are responsible for its pharmacological activity. These essential features are known as pharmacophores and they represent the key interactions required for a molecule to bind to a specific biological target and exert its therapeutic effect. So in uh, pharmacophore based screening, uh, first the the pharmacophore are the key features which are essential for the molecule to bind with the target is identified. So uh, for any structure, the, the basic fragment uh, which is used to interact with the target is identified. So it is, uh, it is based on the database screening of uh, Lipinski's rule, Weber rule, Huge rule, Gauss rule or Paines. Uh, they, uh, they can identify the molecular properties. Then uh, molecular docking is uh, done with autodock, glide, gold or different docking softwares. Then admit profiling by Swiss ADME, admit lab or PKCSM to know the absorption, distribution, metabolism, elimination and toxicity of the lead molecules. Then the molecular docking is uh, performed to identify the drug interactions. Then experimental uh, assays are performed to validate the target. Put together this is called uh, pharmacophore based screening. So the step one in uh, pharmacophore based drug design is target identification. Similar to other uh, drug discovery approaches, the first step is to identify a specific biological target such as enzymes, receptors, transport proteins, carrier molecules uh, or any other uh, targets uh, that plays a crucial role in the disease process. Next, uh, the structural information of the lead molecule. If available, the three-dimensional structure of the target is used to understand its uh, active site and critical interactions with the ligands that bind to it. However, pharmacophore-based drug design can also be applied in cases where the target structure is not known or difficult to obtain. That is the advantage of pharmacophore based drug design. So next is uh, virtual screening. So the, 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 frag, it is, uh, the lead molecule is fragmented into different fragments and identify the key features responsible to bind with the target is identified like uh, how many rings are present, uh, how many hydrogen bond donors are present, uh, what are the functional groups present. Once the pharmacophore model is uh, generated, it is used to screen the chemical databases of uh, potential drug candidates. Compounds uh, that match the pharmacophore features are prioritized as potential hits for further evaluation. So you can uh, see this, uh, first uh, you get the target, and you bind with a ligand, you get a complex and study the interactions. So first you have to get the target proteins, then you can get the target ligands, then you do a molecular docking, then you study the interactions. Next is molecular dynamics. Molecular dynamics simulations involve using computational techniques to model the movement and interactions of atoms and molecules over time. They can be used to predict the activity and potential binding of a compound to the target molecule and to optimize their structure and properties. So you can see uh, when an atom interacts uh, from a lead or a hit, it interacts with the uh, target uh, proteins. It causes numerous interactions which could be studied with molecular dynamics. So it is the interaction of all the atoms put together, it calculates the energy levels and that is called molecular dynamics. Next is lead optimization. You can synthesize uh, the leads and optimize it. Based on the results of molecular modeling or molecular dynamics, 
uh, research design and synthesize compounds that are likely to interact specifically with the target molecule in a way that it modulates its activity. These compounds are then tested and optimized through iterative rounds of synthesis and testing to improve their activity, specificity and other properties. In the pharmacophore based drug design in case of hit to lead identification, the medicinal chemists modify the chemical structure of the hits to enhance their potency and reduce the potential adverse effects. During the screening process, the compounds that demonstrate a desirable interaction or activity with the target are considered as hits. These hits may exhibit uh, characteristics such as binding affinity, selectivity, potency or functional activity that make them potentially suitable for further development as drug candidates. Once a hit is identified, it undergoes uh, further optimization through a process called a lead optimization. This involves uh, modifying the heat molecule to enhance its potency, selectivity, pharmacokinetic properties and safety profile. Lead optimization aims to develop a compound with improved drug-like properties that can be tested in preclinical and clinical studies. Next is, uh, so you can see this, uh, the next step is, uh, step 5 is lead optimization. Identify the lead molecule for the selected target modify the lead that is optimize the lead to increase its uh, drug likeness so the optimized lead uh, molecule can be taken for further stages of drug discovery the optimized lead compounds are then tested in the laboratory settings in vitro or in vivo to evaluate the efficacy safety and potential uh, as therapeutic agents the optimized uh, lead compounds are uh, uh, analyzed by cell based assays, uh, viability assays, apoptosis assay, reporter gene assay, and ELISA, and any other assay method. Biochemical assays include enzyme assays, calorimetric assays, fluorimetric uh, assays, radiometric assays, and spectrophotometric assays. In vivo testing involves uh, toxicity and uh, efficacy testing in Drosophila, C. elegans, Danioraria, Musculus, Ratus norvegicus dogs and uh, primate models then is preclinical testing so preclinical testing involves uh, cell based assays then uh, enzymatic or uh, microarray technologies can be used then preclinical testing in drosophila or zebrafish or uh, rodent models or human uh, primates uh, can be studied the next step, step is uh, clinical trials. The optimized lead compounds are then tested in the laboratory settings. It may be in vitro or in vivo models to assess their efficacy, uh, safety uh, for the potential adverse effects. So after this, it goes for clinical trials. It includes uh, phase zero trials, which is a micro dosing study. Then uh, phase one trials, uh, which is in the healthy volunteers then uh, phase 2 trials it is in the patient population first patient population study then phase 3 trials it is a multicentric trial uh, it usually compares with the standard then phase 4 trials it is post marketing surveillance the next is uh, regulatory approval if the drug successfully completes all the clinical trials and demonstrates uh, its uh, safety and efficacy it can be submitted uh, for regulatory approval. So it may be investigational new drug application. Once approved, the drug is marketed for commercial use. The regulatory authorities uh, include the following US uh, Food and Drug Administration, uh, European Medical Agency, uh, Medical Health and Regulatory, Medicine Health uh, Regulatory Authorities, uh, then uh, Medical Devices Agency, Pharmaceutical Medical Devices Agency, CDSCO is uh, from India, Central Drug Control Organization, and National Medi Medicine and uh, Pharmaceuticals Association of uh, China. So, in, uh, apart from this, there are many uh, drug regulatory authorities which may differ from uh, country to country or region to region. Let us see the advantages of pharmacophore based drug design. 
it is a ligand based approach pharmacophore based drug design can be ligand based meaning it it relies on the known active ligands or ligand receptor complexes to generate the pharmacophore this makes it uh, suitable for situations where the structure of the target protein is unknown or difficult to determine structure activity relationship insight pharmacophore based drug design uh, provides valuable insights into the relationship uh, between the chemical structure of the ligands and their biological activities it helps to identify the critical molecular features responsible for activity and facilitates the design of more potent and selective compounds the advantages of pharmacophore based drug design involves uh, rational drug design by using pharmacophore as a template the drug designers uh, can rationally select and modify the chemical compounds to optimize their interactions with the target leading to improved drug candidates virtual screening pharmacophore models enable virtual screening of chemical databases allowing researchers to quickly identify potential drug leads without the need for physical synthesis and testing of every compound scaffold hopping pharmacophore models can aid in scaffold hopping where different chemical scaffolds are explored to identify novel compounds with similar pharmacophoric features and biological activity limitations uh, limited to known ligands pharmacophore based uh, drug design requires a set of known active ligands or ligand receptor complexes uh, for model generation if uh, there are no ligands or if they have diverse chemistries constructing a reliable pharmacophore model may be challenging static representation pharmacophore models uh, represent a static snapshot of uh, ligand receptor interactions they may not fully capture the dynamic nature of the protein ligand interactions which are crucial for drug binding and activity a lack of target flexibility pharmacophore models typically do not account for the target protein flexibility which can affect the ligand binding protein conformational changes upon ligand binding may not be adequately captured a limited binding mode information Pharmacophore models uh, provide information about essential binding features, but they may not uh, capture the precise orientation or spatial arrangement of ligands within the binding site. Pharmacophore-based uh, drug design may not accurately predict the uh, drug binding uh, affinities, limited to its ability to rank and prioritize the binding affinity prediction of the potential drug candidates. So, in summary. Pharmacophore based drug design is a valuable tool in uh, drug discovery process especially when the structural information about the target is limited it provides essential insights into ligand receptor interactions and aids in identifying novel drug leads however it should be used in conjunction with other methods and experimental validation to overcome the limitations and increase the chances of success in drug development so it's a very short information of uh, pharmacophore based uh, drug design i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends kindly uh, subscribe to our pharma topics channel if you like this video kindly press the like button go through all the series of videos in uh, principles of uh, drug discovery playlist in pharma topics channel uh, thank you for listening thank you